In the video today, I'm going to test out the Canon RP against the Canon R6 and test the image quality. The R6 has a 20 megapixel sensor. This is different to the 26 megapixel sensor found inside the EOS RP. Now, both cameras are very good, believe me. I've shot with both cameras for a while. But this is a comparison between the resolution, sharpness, and low light image quality so that you can make your mind up which camera that you could choose if you're in the market for one of them. Now it's worth me saying that of course the Canon R6 is a more expensive camera and has a whole plethora of extra features. One of them being this nice little feature here, rapid fire. In this comparison, I'm gonna try and keep things as you know fair as possible, shooting in a studio environment with continuous lights. If you look through the Atomos Ninja here, which I'm shooting with currently, you can see that I'm just going from the ISO range 100 and then going through to 1600. Now I'm trying to shoot this in a normal light condition and this is so that we can see things like resolution and sharpness. I wouldn't really expect to see too much difference between um, kind of the quality of the ISO, maybe a little bit, but nothing too noticeable and that's why I'm just going to compare the sharpness and the resolution at this range. But let's check out now in Lightroom. We're here at the ISO 100 range and we've got the Canon R6 on the left, Canon RP on the right. Let's just zoom in and take a look at the resolution and the sharpness here. Now first looks at this, I can't tell the difference actually, I think they look almost identical just jumping into ISO 200, once again, exactly the same. But guys, let me know what you think. Can you see a difference? I'm struggling to at the moment. If you can, let me know in the comments below. Now ISO 400, apart from slightly lower exposure on the right hand side, once again, the sharpness resolution is almost identical. Now taking it up to 800, I might be, might be seeing a little bit of a difference here, but then again, Maybe I'm not. I mean, you can see the grain perfectly on both cameras and really you'd have to look through a telescope to actually spot a difference between these two. At ISO 1600, this is the range I'd expect to see maybe a bit of a difference. And once again, maybe slightly sharper for the R6, but barely. It's not something you'd ever notice in just, you know, something you put on the internet for your social media or anything like that. Now this is the low light test. I'm gonna actually shoot from 3200, I think, ISO here and compare both cameras' low light performance. Now, honestly, I'd expect the R6 to come out on top here because of the lower resolution sensor and the newer technology. But let's check it out and see. So starting off at ISO 3200, R6 is on the left, RP is on the right. Let's zoom right into this buckle again on this little chest and see if we can notice any difference between both of these. Now I do feel that the R6 on the left hand side is showing a bit better results with the image here, but once again, it's so negligible, you can really struggle to tell any difference whatsoever. Now changing these to 6400 ISO, you might be able to see a bit of a difference. This is the kind of ceiling point I find with the ISO of a camera where the image can start to fall apart a little bit and the RP's image here is definitely suffering a little bit and I can see a lot better result with the R6. It's still nice and sharp and just looks great. I'm going to push this up to 12,800 and probably leave it there because I think that's as far as you need to go. Now look at the difference here. There is definitely a big difference between the both images when you're looking at 12,800. The RP is really suffering here. You can see that the image is starting to fall apart. Whereas on the right hand side, there's definitely a little bit of noise in it, but the actual quality, sharpness, resolution is spot on. It's brilliant to be honest with you, and I'm really happy with the results of the R6. The right thing to do now is to actually just take some pictures and then compare them at normal size that you would experience on the web or on your social media. Oh God. Now I must apologize, this is not a paid model. This happens to be my dad. 
and yet this is his first time posing. But you know, when you're struggling for models in the environment at the moment, then you've just got to go with what you've got. Okay, so this is the first image here. This is a raw image out of the Canon RP, and I'm just going to keep it at this size. And that's because this is the kind of size you'd expect to see in day-to-day -day life when you're actually looking on your social media or on a website. Now you can see this is a raw image, so the color is a little bit muted, and so is the contrast and things like that, but the quality is all there. Let's compare this against the R6. And once again, absolutely spot on. I'd be really happy with the quality of this image. Now I've got to say, there probably is a little bit of a red tinge to this, but it's only slight, and that's the only difference I can see in the quality. But looking up and down this image here of the R6, it's nice and sharp, and that 20 megapixel sensor is doing a great job. You know, both cameras take absolutely exceptional quality images. I've got to say though that the low light performance of the Canon R6 was slightly better when you got to that range of ISO 6400. But if you're someone that's got a thousand pound, you've got to think that if you're just into photography, you can bag a camera a thousand pound, which takes image quality of a camera which is currently at about 2,500 pound. The R6 is 26 megapixel sensor really does a great job and works very well up to the ISO point of about 6400. Of course guys, if you are someone that's looking to stray out of that and you're a hybrid shooter or a content creator, you're looking for that great video and that stellar image quality, then you've got to choose the R6 because it gives you so many more features than the RP. But I think the main thing to take away from this is both options are really great choices. I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys, and I hope it's helped you make a choice if you're in the market for one of these cameras. Be sure to leave a comment if you wanna let me know which one you prefer. And also, guys, whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.